Hello. These are my uh, my snow shoeing gear that I accumulated last year, and I did went to Yosemite last year, snow shoeing alone. It was fun. I'm gonna go over the gears that I have. So I'm gonna go with the big stuff, the one that you be I'll be wearing or carrying. Um, so take a look at the biggest thing that you need is a sleeping bag. And it is big. Take a look at this. This is a big sleeping bag. So you actually have to squeeze it down to pretty small. This is the sleeping bag that I have. Take a look at this. See this? This is a 5 degree rating for, for a sleeping bag. It's pretty warm. And I used it last year and I was sweating inside it. I have to go inside here. You see this? This is my sleeping bag. So it's still big, but it's kind of light, so that's good. So that's go for the sleeping bag. The next thing I need is a tent. This tent is a big Agnes. Got a kind of big. I have a sleeping bag, but I need a pack to sleep on, and this is a pack. It's a sleeping pack, and it took me about three minutes to blow up the sleeping pack. So here's a. You just take this out, you blow into this thing, and you tie it up. It takes about three minutes, three to five minutes. It's going to stick out a little bit. That's fine. So I got all these backpack. This is a backpack. This is a Gregory backpack. Well, it's supposed to be waterproof. And it's a 35 liter. It's a 35 liter. That pack is pretty good. I guess it's good for me. About the right size. So I have a sleeping bag, tent, sleeping pad, and a backpack. All right. The next big item is what to wear. So I have here. This is uh, snow pants, it's waterproof, and then I have my boots, which is also waterproof. So what I wear inside is uh, a thermal pants, something like this. Look at a thermal pants. You wear this thermal pants inside, and then put on um, a snow, a snow, uh, snow pants outside. It'll keep you really, really warm and comfortable. And as for wearing clothes, I have a, I wear inside a, a tank top, and then a long t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt, and my down jacket, which is pretty thin, with a hood on. If you want it to be warmer, you can even wear another sweater inside and it will keep you really warm, so it's three layers, four layers. And it will keep you really warm, and when you walk, you can be sweating a lot, so you don't have to worry about freezing to death. Um, okay, the next thing is walking stick. This is very useful. You can use this to help you push forward, climb, or going down, and also use this to protect yourself from animals or whatever that's come at your way. 
this walking stick, you can extend it, close it. And most important thing is snow shoes. Without this, you can't go onto the snow, you're gonna be sinking. So this is pretty good uh, snow shoes that I got from last year. They got even ice breaker, so they can break the ice. All right, so I have um, snow shoes, walking stick, gloves. It's waterproof club, club. It's keep me warm. And also another thing that I actually do have, I think is important is this. This is snow breaker, ice breaker. So what you do is when you walk on ice, you don't need a uh, snow shoes. You can put this on your shoes. Well, you can put it on your shoes. Put it on, and then you can walk on ice so that you so that you won't fall because of the slippery. You're gonna break the ice. Okay, so what's next? Bear canister. You need a bear canister. This is required by law that you have to carry one when you go backpacking in Yosemite. And this is where you store your food, your toothbrush, your toiletry paper and all that in here. So it's in here. And what kind of food do I bring? I have a mountain house. These are dry food. food which is pretty good, I use it a lot and it's pretty light it's kind of big but it's pretty light and it serves three three servings and when, believe me, when you hike all day long you can be really hungry and so you need a lot and this probably lasts me for a meal or two mountain house I'm not going to take all of these, i only take what I need. Depending on how many, how many days I'm hiking. And I have a bear canister, I have food. And also, I need a stove to cook on. And this is a jet boiler. And here, and it got a stove. So I can cook food. And this is um, propane. It can last me for a few days with this. Probably lasts me like 10, 10 meals, 15, 20 meals. What you do is you put this in here, tighten it, and then put this on top, and you cook. Of course. You need a waterproof match to cook. So I have this and this to cook my meal, my 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 meal. And also I have a fork, spoon, and a knife. And I can open it. So I can put it in here. Oh, this is important too. This is a GPS. You know, like your cell phone, there will be no signal in there. So your cell phone is not gonna, you're not gonna be able to use your GPS, but this thing is good. It can detect up to 14 satellites, or I need is three or four to find my way out. And I've been in there before, and it was great. It actually helped me. It, it actually tell me where I am and where I'm heading to. And if I get lost, I head the wrong way, it will tell me. It will show me that I'm going the wrong way. So this is really, really helpful. The rest of the other thing is, you need a flashlight. That's a lamp, a light, small one. This is a headlamp. Pretty good headlamp. This is a bear bell. What does it do? You see a bear? Ring.
distract the bear and drive the bear away with this. It's called bear bail. See a bear? Picture of a bear? Huh? And ah, uh, when you're in the wood, you're cold, so you need to be a fire. It's gonna have this thing. And this is a fire maker, just in case my matches doesn't work. And this is a, a chainsaw. With the chainsaw, you can cut the wood. Dead tree, dead wood, you can cut it and use this for fire. Mm, basically, I think that's all you need. That's all I need to go backpacking, snowshoeing in Yosemite. Mm, and also the most, the most important thing is not this thing, but you, yourself or me. You gotta be in physical condition, top shape. You have to men mentally be prepared, and with the spirit. And without this, without physically be prepared and mentally prepared, I can't go. You know, and and, and um, one of the most important thing, the enemies out there is not the bear, it's not the weather, it's not the mountain, it's you. You can kill yourself by being stupid, by being uh, careless, by not up to shape. You're not gonna go out there not not being prepared. You gotta go out there, be prepared with everything you need. Stay if you go out there for three days, have enough food for five, six days. And uh, if you're in trouble, you gotta be able to stay put for a few days or even a week without help. And eventually somebody can come and help you. This is Yosemite. It's not like the wilderness. During the weekend people go hiking all the time. So if you get stuck, you get lost, stay put near the trail. Eventually, some hiker is going to find you. And I've done that in Yosemite alone last year three times. And I was very, very nervous. And I took a lot of risk. Now it's a piece of cake. All right, thank you for watching. Now I'm ready to pack everything into my backpack.